Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for function and graph. So given the function f and g are defined as follow, where we have the function of fx, which is 2 multiplied with square root of 1 minus x, and the function of gx is equal to ln bracket x minus 3 over 2. A, if the function h is a piecewise function for f and g for x with all real number, sketch the hx and state the domain and range. b. Show that hx is not one-to-one -one function. Then, find the f inverse and g inverse. Hence, evaluate the f inverse for the value 4. And g inverse row with the f inverse value of 2. Where we have the function of hx is equal to 2 multiplied with square root of 1 minus x. Where we have the situation 1 minus x must be greater than or equals to 0. So in here, x will be less than or equals to 1. So the domain for the function fx will be x less than or equals to 1. Next, for the function of gx, where we have ln bracket x minus 3 over 2. And the domain will be, so Kylie refers to the function ln, as we all know, x minus 3 over 2 must be greater than 0. So x must be greater than 3 over 2. So where we have the domain for the function g will be x greater than 3 over 2. So that will be the piecewise function for hx. So now the question asks us to sketch the hx. So kindly focus on the graph hx. So now we focus on 2 multiplied with square root of 1 minus x. So as we can see, the domain is x is less than equals to 1. So here we have the situation 1. So kindly refers to the situation where we have the square root. So 2 multiplied with the square root of 1 minus x. So basically, we have two options, either towards the right or towards the left for the basic shape of the graph. So then, what we have to do is to observe the situation, meaning that the coefficient of x. So in here, the coefficient of x is negative, so meaning that our graph will be towards the left. Next, what we have to do is to find the x-intercept. y is equal to 0, so meaning that 0 is equal to 2 multiplied with square root of 1 minus x. So we can see that 1 minus x is equal to 0. So x will be equal to 1. So where we have the x intercept will be 1, 0. Next is to determine the y intercept. When x equals to 0, the value of y will be 2 square root of 1 minus 0. So the value of y will be equal to 2. So meaning that the y intercept will be 0, 2. So as we can see, we have 1, 0 over here. So we have 1 and 2. So we have 0, 2 over here. So kindly sketch the graph. So that will be the graph for the function fx. Name the location. So where we have 1, 0. And over here we have 0, 2. That will be the function for fx. Next, focus on the gx. So where we have the gx is equal to ln bracket x minus 3 over 2. So step number 1 is to find the domain. So in here, the domain for g is 3 over 2 until infinity, where 3 over 2 is not included. So basically, we already know we have asymptote, which is 3 over 2. Next, what we have to do is to find the y-intercept. So meaning that when x equals to 0. So as we can see, when the x is equals to 0, meaning that it is not in the domain, so y will be undefined. Next, what we have to do is to find the x-intercept. So meaning that when y is equals to 0, where we have 0 equals to ln bracket x minus 3 over 2. 
So kindly convert the situation into the index form where we have exponent 0 is equals to x minus 3 over 2. So we will have x is equals to 1 plus 3 over 2 and we will have 2.5 for the value of x. So the x-intercept will be 2.5, 0 or we can say it 5 over 2, 0. So in here we have 1 then followed by 2 then we have 3 over here so basically 3.5 is located in the middle between 2 and 3. Next, what we have to do is to have the asymptote. Okay, we have the asymptote. Where we have the asymptote is 3 over 2. x is equal to 3 over 2. Where we have the asymptote. So next what we have to do is to basic graph. Meaning that the graph for the lawn is either towards the left or towards the right. So basically you have to refer to the coefficient. So the coefficient of x is a positive. So meaning that our graph will be towards the right. So here we will have the graph for ln. Where we have the function of gx. So kindly refers to the question. The question asks us to have the function of hx and then sketch the function of hx. State the domain and range. So basically in here, the domain for the function hx would be x less than or equals to 1 and x greater than 3 over 2. The domain for the function hx is negative infinity until 1. Union start from 3 over 2 until infinity where the 3 over 2 is not included. Kali refers to the question B. Show that hx is not 1 to 1. So by using the horizontal line test, kindly locate a horizontal line. And we can see that we have two intersection points. So now we can say that the hx is not 1 to 1 function. So we are already shown in the diagram. So the following question will be, find the f inverse, g inverse, hence evaluate the f inverse for the value 4 and g inverse rho with the f inverse with the value 2. Let y is equal to fx. So f inverse y is equal to x. So y will be equal to 2 multiplied with square root of 1 minus x. Next, what I'm going to do is to express the x in terms of y. So where we will have y over 2 is equal to square root of 1 minus x. Square both sides and we will have 1 minus x is equal to y squared over 4. Rearrange the situation. x is equal to 1 minus y squared over 4. f inverse of x is equal to 1 minus x squared over 4. Next, I'm going to look for g inverse. So let y is equal to gx. So g inverse of y is equal to x. So where we will have y is equal to ln bracket x minus 3 over 2. Now I'm going to express the situation x in terms of y. So we have exponent y is equal to x minus 3 over 2. Rearrange the situation. x is equal to exponent y plus 3 over 2. So g inverse of x is equal to exponent x plus 3 over 2. Next is to find the f inverse for the value 4. So kindly substitute the value 4 into this part. So the f inverse for the value 4 is equal to 1 minus we have 4 squared 16 over 4. So 1 minus 4. So the f inverse for the value 4 is equal to negative 3. 
Next, what we have to do is to find this part. Okay, so G inverse rho with F inverse the value 2. So kindly substitute the value 2 into the F inverse. So where we have G inverse rho with the F inverse value 2. So 1 minus 4 over 4. And we will have 1 minus 1 is equals to 0. So we will have G inverse with the value 0. Kindly substitute the 0 into this part. And we will have exponent 0 plus 3 over 2. So exponent 0 will become 1 plus 3 over 2. So our answer will become 5 over 2. So G inverse rho with the F inverse value of 2 is equal to 5 over 2. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.